Uh -huh. So they're saying that brown enamel of the teeth is sex-linked trait. A dominant allele on X chromosome poses brown teeth in human. So it means that if you have brown teeth, yeah, you know what is happening. It means that you, even if you go teeth whitening, it is brown teeth. Anyway, that's genetics. Let me know which kind of Anyway, uh -huh. brown teeth, we are saying that is caused by a dominant allele, but they have not given us any uh, allele we, we are supposed to use so far. Explain why more males than females have white teeth. Remember, brown teeth is caused by a dominant allele. You see, it means that if I'm going to use B for brown, yes, and then small b for white because it is caused by a dominant allele and then it is caused by sex it's a sex link trait it means that females a the female is gonna be like this yes or it's gonna be like this so that is a female who is brown teeth while a male is gonna be capital b only then still the female can be this white teeth while male is gonna be that it means that males have two options while female have three options so and even if a recessive allele appears on x chromosome of the female it can be masked by a dominant allele so it means that this individual is still able to live without that, uh, without the brown teeth. So how, what can you say? How are you going to answer this? Basically, you know that uh, we say that males, males have one X chromosome. Yes. Look at this general description. Males have one X chromosome. Yes. You see, one X chromosome. If a recessive allele appears on that X chromosome, the individual is having the condition. While the females have two to x you see if a recessive allele appears on x on x it can be masked by a dominant allele the individual is still brown not what white so for for for, for the lady to be uh, white teeth or that sex linked disorder must have two two recessive allele but males only have one recessive allele so it is very common in males so based on this question how can you answer this question? You can say that males only have one X chromosome. That is a tick. Males have only one X chromosome. It's a tick. Or oh, males uh, uh, have Y chromosome, meaning that they don't have X chromosome. Yes. And then what do they do? They have to inherit one recessive allele for them to be white. See, they only have to be with one recessive allele for them to be white. But remember, the females have to be with the two. If they have one, they can be masked by dominant allele, and then the individual is, is white. The individual is brown. So males have one X chromosome. If a recessive allele is inherited, yes, the individual will have white teeth. You see? While females have two X chromosomes, look, they have two X chromosomes, yes? They have to be with the two recessive alleles for them to be white. Can I repeat? Males have one X chromosome. If a recessive allele is inherited, yes, the individual is, 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 is white teeth. Well, females have two X chromosomes. If a recessive allele is, is inherited, it is masked by a dominant allele on the other, meaning that they have to inherit two recessive alleles for them to be white. Yeah, please take note of that. We can bring it in different versions. Please don't, don't go off. We can bring it for hemophilia. We can bring it for colorblindness. So we can bring it in different uh uh, versions yes so that is the explanation for those uh, uh, marks for marks 
then they are saying that a man with brown teeth marries a lady with white teeth. Which kind of teeth do you want? You want uh, brown teeth or you want white teeth? Eh? You want white teeth or brown teeth? Okay. Uh -huh. Use the genetic cross to show the possible genotypic ratio of their children. All right. What do you do here? Please, do not forget that this is a genetic cross. You have to follow all the procedures. You have to, all the steps, because we, we mark by steps. You start with P1. P1 means parent one. Parent one, you have to tell us the, pheno, the phenotype of the parent, of which this phenotype is always given in the question. A man who is brown teeth, so you can say, Brown teeth guy is crossed with uh -huh, marrying a woman who is white teeth. Then they are saying that white teeth, white teeth, lady. Ne? Yes, uh -huh. they're saying that. Uh -huh. What happens? Uh, use a genetic cross, use XB. So, we go to phenotype, sorry, the genotype, the description of an organism in terms of genes, that's the genotype. The description of an organism in terms of what you see, the physical appearance of an individual is what you call the phenotype. So, the problem is not phenotype. The problem is not crossing. The problem is the genotype. Because if you fail the genotype, you are most likely to lose the three marks. You can get three marks even if you don't know the genetic cross. As I told you that this is obtained from the question, check. You just copy here, paste. You get a full mark there. Uh -huh. Then, because it is a man, I'm going to use X and Y. And because this is a female, is X and please we only use this X and Y because they say it is sex linked. If they have not said it, I repeat it because students make mistakes. And when you're marking, you feel like crying and you have no choice. The only choice which is there is to cross. Yes. So the X, but they said brown teeth, and brown teeth is caused by dominant allele. So remember, they have only one option. Then they are saying. Ah, uh, yes. White teeth, remember white teeth is can only be like this. So small b, small b. Uh -huh. Now we give you another tick. Now, don't forget this. You go to meiosis. Meiosis, what does it do? It splits these two and then splits that one also. So, I always tell you that please don't leave them naked because they are not at the beach. It's only beach where they are people who are naked. Yes. And someone said that people at the beach are not naked. Okay, walk the way you walk at the beach on the street and then we see if you are not naked. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Uh -huh. Then they are saying that after that, you have to do what you call fertilization. Fertilization. So, fertilization here, you can use a peanut square or you can cross. Let me just use a cross. The next time I will use a peanut square. That, it means that B, capital B, small b. This with this, capital B, yes, small b. Then this with this, x, y, and small b. Then this with that. Then we're going to have small b and y. And then these are called offsprings or the babies. And then this is f1. So when you're marking, how do we mark? We come here, we do this. We give you a tick. P1, F1, we give you a tick for that. You saying meiosis and fertilization, we give you a tick. 
uh, something I forgot. What is it? I forgot to say these are gametes. Please don't forget these steps. Please don't forget these steps. Because if you, you see now, you have one mark from the question, two marks me saying meiosis and fertilization, three marks you saying F1, P1. Even if you don't know the genetic cross, still you can get the mark. Think I'm clear? Yes. Uh -huh. Let's continue. Let's continue. And then we say that, what was the question saying? Use the cross to show the possible genotypic ratio. They want the genotypic ratio of their children. Now, I need to find out the genotype of this, the phenotype. They said genotypic eh? is phenotypic. I need to find out the phenotype of these individuals. So, phenotype. Then I come here and say, this is a female who is normal. Female. You can't say female carrier. No. Why don't we say female carrier? Because we don't show we can't see whether the person is a carrier or not. So it's going to be two female, uh, sorry, female, yes, normal. Uh uh, not normal. They specify that brown teeth. Brown teeth, yes. Brown, brown teeth, yeah, brown teeth. And then, Two male white teeth. Two male white teeth. Yes. So if I've got those two, what does it mean? They want the genotypic ratio. Two to two. But if you leave it like that, we cross. You have to simplify it. Divide by two. Divide by two. Say one, two. One. So that is the correct answer. Here we give you a tick. Yeah, I think I'm clear there. Eh? The question is uh, if you have any challenge with it, please let me know. Eh? Let me know. See if uh, you have any challenge with the, this question. If you don't have any challenge, then we continue to the next uh, question because uh, basically. We supposed to uh, we supposed to look at even a dihybrid a dihybrid cross supposed to look at it, the dihybrid cross okay let's continue uh -huh. if you have any question please let me know in the comment I will try to answer it immediately uh huh Kajibene United D FC. I think now we are together. Yes. Let's go to the next. Ooh, yeah, it is uh, a pedigree. Sorry, it's not a pedigree. It's a, a dihybrid cross. So this, this today's lesson is a mixture of a, a dihybrid and a pedigree. I also included one question for blood group. Yes. So within one hour, the class will be done. So please Take your time and then we try to discuss this question. These what? These questions you will be able to uh, to 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 understand. All right. <laughs> humans in humans, okay? Short fingers and short fingers, capital F, and then uh, widows. Peak, capital H, are dominant over fingers, mm -mm, long fingers, and uh, continuous hairline. Men, a, a man and a woman, both are heterozygous. Uh, they are heterozygous. The two characteristics uh, for the two characteristics, the uh, plan on having a child. They are, they are just planning to have a child. Okay, sharp. Let's go.
sex determination is caused by the 23rd pair. So we have chromosome number 1 to chromosome number 23. And these are pairs, né? meaning that they are equal to 46 chromosomes. But from chromosome number 1, yes, to chromosome number 22, we call them oro orosomes. Né? From chromos chromosome number 23, or the, third, the 23rd pair, we call, them, we call it sex chromosome, or gonosome. So when you are describing sex, sex, or, uh, sex determination, you are supposed to explain based on uh based on based on uh, the 23rd pair of chromosome so we can say when they say show using a genetic cross you're supposed to do all the procedure as i've been explaining to you that is p1 f1 so so if you are not going to forget it's fine, you can leave the F1 for now until you reach the end. So now it's going to be uh, P1, which is phenotype. So what are you going to say here on the phenotype? We're going to say male, then crossing with female. You see? Yes. And then they're saying that geno, geno, genotype. Genotype, you come here, you tell us that this is X, this is Y. Remember, uh, males have two X, uh, so have one X chromosome, and then they have one Y chromosome. So, and then this one is going to be X, Y. So, now, what happens is uh, meiosis, meiosis is going to be X, Y, it's going to be X, X and these are gametes, gametes. So uh, we circle them. Uh, even if you don't circle them, still you get a tick. But when you circle them, it brings about that identity or uh, separation. And then now fertilization or curls. This is X, X. This is X, X. This is X, Y. And then also this is X, Y. So uh, basically, that is it. And then now, what happens? What happens is um, this is fertilization, fertilization, and then these are offsprings. But don't forget that this is F1 offspring. So basically, use gender. So it means that you have uh, these are females, females, and then these are males. Males, meaning that you have 50% chance of producing females and 50% chance of producing males. What is the question? Is it cross to show the gender in humans and is determined by sex chromosomes of the parents? So in this case, that's what they want. If you check our book booklet, uh, the 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 distinction material, and you go to genetics, you'll find out that uh, this book is showing you exactly what i've talked uh, about what i've talked about this is it uh, 22 chromosomes are called uh, orosomes and one pair is called sex chromosome males have xy and female have this is a description yes but what they want is this if they say describe how sex de uh, is determined or uh, done then uh, you can talk about this but if they're not talking about that then automatically uh, you have to use the because they said using the genetic genetic cross. So basically, they want this. They don't want it, uh, the writing. Yes, let's go to the next question. Uh, Robin, Robin, saying hi. Okay. Yes. Hi. Uh -huh. All right. They are saying that um, the next question is. Uh, what's the 